Welcome to another year of Union Football Coaches Show. I'm Kevin Ward along with the coach Kirk Frederick. As the season kicked off last Saturday in Dallas area and coach, you took on DeSoto, one of the top 25 teams in the country. And uh, boy, by golly, nine point deficit heading into the fourth quarter. You were where you wanted to be heading into that last period. I was real proud of our kids and, and the way that uh, uh, we hung in there. I felt like we were chipping away at things and, and getting close. And then it just kind of caved in on the fourth quarter. They scored 15 points on us and, and went the other way for, uh, in that fourth quarter. But proud of uh, kind of how we weathered the storm in the first quarter and, and a lot of good, good things we can talk about. Uh, obviously, a lot of mistakes that with the, our team and the inexperience that we had in some places that we'll need to fix, but uh, uh, enjoyed the trip. Our booster club did an outstanding job with the, the planning and the, the kids just, I, I felt like had a great great trip with the exception of the score and, and the game. I, uh, more than anything, I was real proud of, of uh, Dan Newman and our athletic training staff of, uh, you know, we didn't have very many cramping issues what, like it could be mm -hmm. with the heat and and the way that uh, the way the the temperature was and the uh, the field was, in, I mean, pretty pretty hot for uh, Dallas uh, on a Saturday afternoon. Both sides of the ball for you in that heat had to be very active because you were moving the football almost 400 yards of offense on the day against DeSoto. So your offense was on the field uh, for quite some time each possession, and then your defense chasing that quarterback all over the field, hurry up offense. 100 degree heat, I mean, it, you knew it was going to take a toll likely on them. And I know both teams played under the same conditions, but, uh, you know, you were the guys that were having to chase white all over the field. Well, when you're playing from behind like that and you're playing an athletic team, you know, obviously uh, uh, it's going to take a toll on you. And, and uh, but you're right, they, 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 they play in that type of uh, environment just like we do. So it's hot on both sidelines, but uh, uh, they're a good football team. And, uh, uh, we're not ready to beat the the number 13 team in the nation by any means, and um, but we've got a, a a foundation, a starting point to uh, to get ready for district. And people will see that when we uh, come back in a few minutes with those highlights. But let's take a look at these statistics from last Saturday, and there you go, 385 yards of offense for you, coach, and that's a really good number. Yeah, you can see. You know, we were able to throw the ball around. Uh, we lost our tailback early, uh, and. Uh, uh, took us a little bit out of some of our game plan and, and had to spread the ball around. I felt like we, we did a really nice job. I thought Mason did a really good job of getting the ball into different guys' hands. Uh, we had, you know, um, three different receivers catch touchdowns and, and uh, two of them had, almost all three of them had 100 yards receiving with different catches. And, and uh, so the, the rushing yards skewed just a little bit, but obviously it's something that DeSoto was giving us and we were able to, to throw the ball. I uh, felt like defensively at times we really played well and at times the, you know, their athletic ability got the best of us. But uh, defensively we got stops at times, uh, but then the offense didn't come back through and we felt like we were playing from behind the whole time. And, just when the defense would get a stop, then offensively we couldn't uh, put it on the board. But um, proud of a lot of things, but also very disappointed. And as people will see uh, when we do take a look at those highlights, uh, the Redskins went for it on fourth down seven different times in the ball game and a couple of big conversions. We'll take a look at those highlights. Stay with us when we come back on the Union Football Coaches Show. And now, here's the cheer that will be sweeping the land. He swipes, he donates, great big check. He swipes, he donates, great big check. He's got 50 bucks for you. Choose your school, they'll get it too. He swipes, he donates, great big check. TTCU, the Credit Union School Pride Visa Check Card. You swipe, TTCU's Adam Cash donates to your school. Pretty catchy, isn't it? You swipe, he donates, great big checks. <laughs> Journey, man. You know how many varsity spots I got? You want to be one of those 12, you got to get better each and every day. Are you going to look down at shame and say, man, I could have worked a little harder. I could have pushed it just a little bit harder. Don't let that happen. You got to do it all year long.
Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show. Kevin Ward along with the coach, Kirk Frederick, and we get uh, into it here from the DFW area, actually South Lake Carroll High School, Dragon Stadium, Union versus DeSoto on a very hot, hot uh, Saturday afternoon. Exciting to see the TP there. Uh, that thing's been, been around for a long time, and uh, we chose uh, to defer, so they get the ball first and, and uh, get a nice return on us. The defense is on the field. And uh, they strike quickly. They get to a, to a quality receiver and uh, get the ball down inside and kind of hit us pretty quick. Obviously, a speed adjustment early on, but I uh, felt like that uh, our defense was able to adjust. But obviously, and especially in this first drive, they hit us real quick. It's our opportunity to come back. And you can see right here real quick, we have a run play call, but we check it outside there to Will Hamilton. Does a great job. Here we come back to... Uh, Kaylor Pearson, who had an outstanding job or outstanding afternoon, and and uh, there's Justin Silman. You can see um, what he's able to do carrying the football, and and um, uh, real disappointing to lose him early in the game. We come back on a fourth down and uh, run a boot play to Carson Meyer and go in for a score, and then uh, uh, have one of those two-point conversion things where uh, we get a blocked kick and they return it, which uh, gives us a difference in the score. Come back, they've got the ball. Again, moving very quickly, using their athletes on the edges and uh, doing a lot of things similar to what we were doing and uh, getting to the outside, getting their guys in space. And we obviously see some missed tackles there uh, from a few guys, but again, rallying to the ball, uh, trying to adjust to the speed of, of the game. Come back there, Brian Stadler does a great job, gets a a clip, it also makes a nice play, our senior outside linebacker. Good pressure by JoJo Ogendar, and they're just finding that open void, and again, we have to, to make an adjustment to that. Have a misfit by our inside guys, and they do a great job of running the zone. The quarterback makes a great read. There's a reason why he's a, a pretty, pretty good guy there. They come back and try to fake one on us here, and Chance Wenzluski comes up with an interception. So an interception on a PAT try by a nose guard is pretty, uh, pretty interesting stat. That's candy bar. There you go. Come back here, KP. I thought the blocking and everything was very good. Uh, you see Zach Fisher with a nice block there on the outside. Alex Brown coming in. But I thought our kick returns were really good. And, of course, Kaylor Pearson had an outstanding uh, day on the kick returns. Nice slant route there to Jeff Mead. Mason in his first start doing a good job. Come out here with the sprint out. Uh, picks up Will Hamilton there on a, on a third down, which puts us in a really uh, crucial situation on a long fourth and eight. And uh, he, he's able to hit uh, Jeff Mead in the middle there in that void, and Jeff finishes the runoff. Come back defensively, run the quarterback draw. You'll see Sam Blankenship on a lot of plays. I thought Sam had a good game, came in and made some nice plays for us. See right here, they go, Dion staying with the receiver. I thought Dion came up with the interception uh, at that point. Of course, the official uh, giving us the interception, but uh, for whatever reason, it come, comes back and goes the other way. Uh, I'm not real sure if they thought that uh, it was a tie ball or what it was, but um, <laughs> mind changes and, and they get the ball back. Yeah. Nice play there by Brian Stadler. Look at Chance Winslewski. A lot, of, a lot of guys up front doing a really good job. Eric Giddings as well in there on the tackle. Good pressure. They get the ball out to the edge. Come up. Dion makes a nice play. You see Brandon Golfin and Colton King. Of course, Sam is there. Um, a lot of guys chasing the football. Come back. There's that void that we had to try to get to to try to keep those guys uh, out of that area. And their quarterback does, does a nice job of finding it and punches it in. And, uh, I believe it's this time I looked up and I thought, man, it's just the first quarter. You know, it's been, you know, four or five touchdowns in mm -hmm. a short period of time and and uh, an exhausting afternoon. But kids keep battling. You, the heart of our, our kids has been tremendous. Nice play there on a little scramble rule there. I thought Mason keeping the play alive out to Jeff was really good. Another good play there by Justin Silman. You, uh, play actually where he went down and... Uh, uh, took a shot on the ankle, so um, you know we're coming in with Finch, and Finch is a senior tailback for us who does a, a really good job, and and I thought that Finch came in until he got hurt. So, mm -hmm. um, but uh, offensively, we're in that second quarter. We come back with the screen here, 
the finch. Uh, they, they are able to, to sniff it out and get a stop there. Love the protection. You can see we had good protection on that. Mason's able to get his feet set, able to hit a comeback route to, uh, to KP on the outside. Here's Jeff on a long yardage situation, comes up just a yard short uh, of a conversion right there uh, for us. So defense is back on the field. Big hit by Dion. I uh, thought that Dion came and played, played really well. Look at Jackie Allspaw. Jack does a great job coming back. Had a corner over the top of it. We wanted to try to take away the deep ball over the middle, and I think we did for the most mm -hmm. part um, throughout the game. But they had obviously had other weapons to be able um, to score on us. But you stop them, and that was the key. Got a big stop in the second quarter. It was a huge victory for our defense. Offensively, we come back out. We need to come down and put points on the board to get a stop. And uh, they cover us up well, went to some man coverage on us and caught us off guard on that play and unable to do it. Then we come back here, oh. sprinting out to the left, just, you know, the things that could have been yeah. in a couple of plays there. Jeff Mead got behind him and then just a little bit under underthrown. Great play on their part. Defense back on the field. Again, want to make plays there, missing a few tackles. Um, you're seeing a lot of kids that are going to be playing in the Big 12 and SEC and several places on Saturday, and uh, uh, credit their team. That's, a, that's an outstanding football team. They come back, run the zone inside. A little disappointed in the way we played our uh, run up the middle. We're obviously going to you know, address that this week and, and uh, try to get some of that fixed. Great play inside there. Quarterback uh, kept the ball. You can see Colby Evans coming in, making a nice play with Brian Stadler. Like the pressure there by JoJo. Outstanding pressure by JoJo. And, and uh, Brian Stadler to finish it up. Great play here. Robert Thomas, our corner, comes in on a nice block. Uh, another stop by our defense. Yep. Two in a row there. Defense starting to gain momentum. Come back inside right here. We take a shot to the ankle right there. And, and uh, fortunately, he's ruled, uh, ruled down on the play. And so uh, wasn't a fumble on that. But uh, we lost our number two tailback on that play as well. So we've got sophomore Tyler Atkins. And I thought as the game went on, Tyler played really well at tailback. In a tough situation here, uh, putting our defense in a bind, and, and unfortunately we have a, have a bad special teams kick and gives them a short field going in. And, and probably the separation um, in the game was maybe in this spot right here. Our offense wasn't able to, to be able to get anything going, and, and, and then we gave our defense a, a, a real short field. Coming up right before the half, and we're, uh, we're trying to get the ball out. He uh, does a nice job of, of getting the ball to Will Hamilton. Will makes a nice play, gets it out of trouble. Here we come back with Will. I think Will had about nine catches on the night and did a great job uh, finding those open voids, and we're just banging the ball. and get, Again, there's Will for three in a row, finding a way to get the ball inside. Mason doing a super job. Here we are again. Felt like we're moving the ball, getting it out. Uh, pretty nice drive being able to come in uh, right before the half. We see Taylor Pearson um, really right. I mean, clock's running down and, and uh, in a two-minute O situation. And what a great play, kind of a way to respond after that, that play uh, really right before the half. Give us an opportunity to go in with a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 29-20 the score at the half. And you saw Mason Farquhar. You didn't see it on the video, but he took quite a shot at the end of that play. We're going to come back and get into the second half. Stay with us. Redskins only down by nine at this point against DeSoto, the 15th ranked team in the country. Back with more on the Union Football Coaches Show after the break. At Arvest, we know our customers come to us for different reasons. There are some who need banking on their time. For others, it's not when they bank, but where. Then there are those who take their banking wherever they go. From big moves to small favors, we recognize the needs of our customers, and now they've recognized us again. For the third year in a row, Arvest ranked highest in customer satisfaction with retail banking in the Southwest region by J.D. Power & Associates. Switch today and get the customer service you deserve, only from Arvest Bank.
Back on the Union Football Coaches Show, Kevin Ward along with the coach, Kirk Frederick. We uh, ready ourselves for the third quarter, 29-20 at the half, and the Redskins will open up play with the ball. Going right before the half and then have an opportunity to return the opening kickoff. We really felt like we had a chance to come back and get this game really close and make it exciting. Robert Thomas comes out with a nice return. Uh, we come back on offense and and uh, trying to get the ball to KP there and have a little pass interference, which helps us out. A little tunnel screen inside there to Jeff. Again, pretty elusive for a guy that's 6'7", uh, running through the middle of the defense. There's some of that tough running that you, you uh, see there on Tyler Atkins, a sophomore tailback for us. Real impressed with how he protected as well on some of the blitzes and uh, offensively get the ball moving uh, inside. You can see, again, nice block there. Ben Kramer probably had the best performance out of our offensive line uh, on, the, uh, on the evening. And uh, again, just come up a little bit short there, uh, went for it on a fourth down and wasn't able to pick it up. So the defense is, is uh, back on the field. See good uh, push and surge inside there by Chance Winslewski. Their uh, uh, running back is able to bounce it outside and, and uh, uh, then we pick up a, a face mask on that, gives them a few extra yards. Colby Evans and Dion McKittrick on the, on the stop. You're hearing me call a lot of different names uh, than maybe a few of our fans are used to, and, and uh, a lot of new guys on the field. I thought Robert Thomas had a great hit there on the quarterback, punched the ball loose, and, and unfortunately we're not able to, to get the recovery uh, headed our way. They're uh, Texas officials in Texas as well, I think, there. <laughs> Defense uh, trying to hold strong. Got a great job inside there by Sam and Colby. Uh, you know, obviously adversity down in tight. Uh, great coverage underneath. Look at the pursuit inside there. Jack Osball does a great job there with Robert on second down. We get down to fourth down uh, against an extremely powerful offense. And look at those guys come in and make great plays. JoJo and uh, Brian Stadler come in and we get a huge fourth down stop. Uh, the problem with that is our offense gets the ball in the one yard line coming <laughs> that's right. out. That's, I think that's their payback for me going forward on fourth down. <laughs> so uh, they come inside and do a good job uh, underneath. And we hit a great play here on curl route to Jeff. You can see Jeff uh, breaks it free and gets us out of trouble, gets us out to midfield uh, offensively, moving the ball and doing a great job with it. Come back here with a nice sprint out to the outside uh, on a big third down play. I really thought that Will Hamilton did a great job bringing the ball down. Just off the fingertips here of Jeff on a, on a go route to the outside. And uh, again, just kind of a couple of those that we wish might have gone the other way. They get us behind here on a couple of plays. And you can see Tyler coming in trying to get a few of those extra yards back. Uh, and again, the, the drive just kind of stalling out here at midfield, uh, brought it out from the one yard line. It's good, mm -hmm. good drive, get it out 60 yards. But unfortunately on that fourth down play, they make a great play and, and intercept the pass. Defense back out on the field, Colton King on the coverage and the stop, junior outside linebacker. Got pressure coming in there by chance and uh, a lot of defense chasing, a good coverage downfield. And, and able to, uh, to get a stop. A couple of places in here, you can start to see really both teams starting to slow down just a little bit. You know, the turf's about 140 degrees at the time, and kids are playing hard, but there's just not quite as much snap yeah. in the step, I don't think, for either team um, as they start to get a little bit tired. Pr uh, Tristan Anderson, great play there, coming in on the pressure. Somebody just hang on to that guy. Sam gets close there. We finally, <laughs> finally get him corralled and get a huge stop there. Uh, by our defense heading into the fourth. So, That'll wear a defense down too no right doubt, there. No doubt. Just a little bit of a bust. This is obviously something that we didn't want to happen after a big play like that, but their quarterback's able to uh, find a little crease, pretty shifty guy. And then, of course, you get guys focused on the quarterback, and, and we give up something right down the heart of the defense. Got big Jansen Smith in there at nose guard, doing a good job, clogging it up inside. Makes a great play there. You can see Sam coming over, making a nice stop on the edge. Again, Sam played extremely hard uh, throughout, the, throughout the game. They come in, they're able to punch it in and, and get a little bit of separation. Got a two-point conversion there. 
So uh, we knew it's going to be a three score situation. Come back on the kickoff, get a great play inside there, and, and KP gets it out again. Had two, two of his kickoff returns outside the 40. Did a really nice job. Farquhar comes up, makes a nice play, a little scramble to the outside. A play where he takes a little ding, and, and so we come in with, with uh, Zach Fisher on the first play, and uh, what a strike. Kid coming off the bench, uh, hadn't, hadn't thrown a ball the entire game, mm -hmm. comes in and makes a nice throw there uh, to, uh, to KP. Have a nice play here for a touchdown, and unfortunately, uh, much like an excited quarterback coming off the bench and some of our kids not quite getting set and uh, uh, got, didn't get a, guy, a receiver set on the play and, and unfortunately we weren't able to, to uh, keep that touchdown. Come in on a fourth down stop and, and uh, we try to punch it in there on fourth and one and, and uh, their defense does a really nice job of stopping us on that fourth and down. And you brought in Colby Evans to carry. Colby Evans came in and to carry the ball and just um, they were a little bit better on us on that play. So we, you know, again, one of those opportunities we thought we could have there, a couple things go our way and we, we make this real exciting going down, down the stretch. Defense still battling. Uh, they obviously, we did a great job of covering stuff uh, down the field. It's awful hard for four quarters to, to hem that guy up and he's gonna make a lot of people look silly at times. You can see a few, a few of the guys getting tired, a few missed tackles. Uh, Sam Blankenship comes in, makes a nice play. Trying to keep the coverage downfield. They're able to get one underneath on us. Guys coming up, Robert Thomas, play his first start as a corner. I thought he did a pretty good job for us. They throw the ball underneath. You see Brandon Golfin coming and making a nice play. Just about every play here, you're going to see Sam Blankenship making plays uh, around the football. Deion McKittrick, our defensive uh, Player of the game, I thought had a really good game, and I uh, thought Dion had nice coverage on that. Well, the final is posted 44 to 20, and as you could see, going into the fourth quarter, just a nine-point game at 29 to 20. Union showing up very well last Saturday against DeSoto. They'll have to show up this Friday, but before we talk about the backyard bowl, we're going to get up close and personal with Vic Kidwell and some of his great photos from the DeSoto game. We'll get to that after the break on the Union Football Coaches Show. The Union You Wear store located on the west side of the UMAC has everything a true Redskin fan needs to show their colors at games and events. There, you will find a large selection of sweatshirts and hoodies for both men and women. Many styles and colors are available. They have a wide selection of items to keep your head warm on those chilly nights. And don't forget, the U-Wear store is your home for novelty items and must-have accessories. The U-Wear store is located in the UMAC, right next to the football stand. Open six days a week. This is my card. It helps my school. This is my card. And it helps my teachers. This is my card. It helps me. It's the School Pride Visa Check Card from TTCU, the credit union. And it's the card that pays your school $25, pays your teacher $25, and pays you $25 for getting yours. Stop by a TTCU branch or visit ttcu.com and discover what the School Pride Visa Check Card can do. Back on the Union Football Coaches Show, time to get up close and personal with some great photos from Vic Kidwell. Always good to have Vic uh, uh, up close and personal. They're on the sidelines and uh, making the trip down to Texas and uh, what a great shot of, of Kaylor Pearson, senior wide receiver, kick returner, uh, returning the ball on many of those returns he had the other day. There's Carson Meyer going in the end zone, uh, caught the drag route and took it all the way in. That's two weeks in a row he's been able uh, to do that. Nice job there by Carson. Got a junior corner in Robert Thomas down there underneath, number 11, and Colton King, another junior outside linebacker. A little gang tackle. There's another. Nice gang tackle there by Eric Giddings. You got Jojo Ogendar uh, trying to rip the ball out there and Brian Stadler there in the back. And so I love seeing that. Love these pictures of the big hogs up front. Chris Nelson uh, in there blocking and somewhere in there is Davis Harker. He's a big guy to hide, but he can let you know how big that nose guard is going to the University of Texas. There's Colton King again on a, on a nice play uh, to the outside there on their tailback. Dion McKittrick going up for the interception. 
uh, or the interception that wasn't. And uh, uh, Dion on a nice play again. We talked about what a great, great play he had. There's another couple of big linemen in there. Uh, we got Briggs in there, Dominique Briggs, a, a junior offensive tackle, and I bet you that's Lovett. There he is. There's big Lovett there. Another guard senior, real, really proud of Josh Lovett and what he's been able to do. That defensive front were all Division I commits, and mm -hmm. uh, I thought that our guys protected our quarterback pretty well most of the night. Jack Allsball coming in low on that one, and Chance Winslewski and Colby Evans. Uh, again, took a lot of defensive effort the other day. Um, uh, 44 points is not anything that we're proud about, and it's hard to, to swallow at times, but there was a lot of positive things that we can find and we can grow from. Well, you will not be at full strength uh, on Friday as you head to uh, the Backyard Bowl against Jinx. Jinx, after your game against DeSoto, able to uh, beat Euless Trinity 27-23. So they will come in 1-0 and with some momentum uh, after that victory. Uh, I know we have to ask, and I have to ask you your opinion on Jinx, and I know sure. that you could, you could repeat the same thing year after year, but we do have to talk about the Trojans. Well, the Trojans are an outstanding football team, and it seems like we say that every year, and mm -hmm. it's true. Uh, uh, really impressed with the way that they played Euless Trinity. I think that you know, a lot's been talked about about their defense, and, and uh, as advertised, a really good defensive front. Their secondary is solid. Linebackers are really good. Offensively, it looks like they've got a great package for a young quarterback who just did tremendous the other night. So we know they're coached very well, and we know we're going to face a, another top 25 team in, mm -hmm. in week two. So uh, we've got to get healthy quickly, and, and uh, you know we've got some guys that are going to have to grow up really quick. So we'll have a few guys that are in their first start for the second week in a row because of some of those injuries. But um, you know it's going to make us stronger down the run. That's why we schedule these games. Week two, coming up on Friday night, 7 o'clock kickoff. It's the Mid-First Bank Backyard Bowl. It's the Trojans. It's the Redskins. One and two in the state, according to the Tulsa World. Even after uh, the loss last week, Union remains number two in that poll. And, of course, we'll be on the air with a pregame show on the radio 30 minutes prior to kickoff. That's going to do it for this edition of the Union Football Coaches Show. Our thanks to Kirk Frederick and to Andy Irwin and his staff as well. They always do a great job. And we'll be back on again next week with another fine edition of the Union Football Coaches Show.